this is my 250R build. Stock frame 86 build is what I've been calling it because so far it is coming out great. Um, I, as I mentioned, I took apart the black old Honda. This is the most caked quad I've ever seen. I am sorry my shop is a mess. I plan to do a full reorganize of it, but it is so freaking cold. I can only be out here for like 10 minutes before my hands start to freeze. So I got these big gloves on and I can't take the machines out because there's so much snow out there. And so things are a little bit challenging right now. Um, but I've been coming along. I've been putting all these motor parts into Tupperware cans and all my other stuff. So coming along. Anyway, back to the 86. So I put an FPZ ported jug on here, 69 bore, so it's a 270 motor now. Uh, my goal was to always have a high revving motor in one of the 250Rs. This chassis, to be honest, is going to be a 363 eventually. While I build that motor up, I'm gonna put that motor in this quad eventually. But for the time being, this 270 will be in it and I think it'll be it'll run fine once I get the 263 built it'll just be a simple pull the motor out pull the wiring harness out new motor different carb different harness carb might even be the same it's a 39 that I'm going to try out on here so I'm going to try this uh, 270 motor with a 39 carb Boyce and rad valve and then I put the aluminum uh, air box on here I just love the sound of it. Um, the stock one, I do have a stock box as well, but the aluminum box just um, sounds a lot better. When I switched out my original 250R from a stock box to an aluminum box, it made no performance gains, I don't think, but it sounds so much nicer. Maybe I'll do a video comparing them. I'll put the old box on, put a new box on. Once this thing runs, you guys can kind of hear the difference. I would do it on the Walsh, but the, no air box fits the Walsh, so can't do it. Um, so I had an 86 swing arm powder coated silver to match these silver, I think they're Lager A-arms. And so I'm gonna eventually get the shocks done once you know, budgets allow. But um, I was lucky enough to get this chrome axle with the parts with the black uh, 250R. And I had this wave rotor from before and an anti fade came with it as well. So and the hubs matched on this one in the red and the red, which worked out very well. I ordered these pegs. These pegs are amazing. I'm loving them. So all I really need to do on this thing is put a filter in, put the pipe on, uh, shore up the wiring, like just zip tie, clean it up, put on the rest of whatever's left, tank, uh, plastic, seat, and this thing will run. So this thing, as I mentioned, went together before in the last video, went together like butter. It's been going absolutely smooth. I can't believe it, but I think it's because everything's stock, everything's coming off of another quad, so there isn't a lot of fighting going on. Everything's been fitting. Let's gonna put these clamps on. This has been a great build. I can hopefully get this ready by next week as well. Um, I do have a couple days where I'm gonna dedicate a lot of it to working on these machines. But overall, this is going good in my opinion. It'll be done quick. I will be taking it to the dunes to dyno it. I'm gonna dyno this. I'm gonna dyno the other Banshee. We're gonna see what they'll make. The numbers wise, I am very curious to see how a 270 competes with a 310. So we will try that. Um, part of me hopes that the 310 does better, but I have this feeling that the 310 is gonna be a little bit uh, underwhelming. So yeah, that's the 250R build that's going on. I've been meaning to run this AC bumper for a while. This is my favorite bumper for a 250R and I didn't run it on my 310 because it kept uh, overheating it in the motocross situations but out in the dunes with these radiator shrouds that fit nicely and they're firm I think uh, it'll do a lot it'll do a lot better um, a lot of these parts came with that other Honda and they turned out amazing I really like this uh, brake protector here and yeah there you go 
That's my 250R. Thanks for watching my video. Like and subscribe. I will post the video when this is done. And I will go through this dollar per dollar for everything what it cost me. Um, I can tell you up front, this didn't cost me very much at all because I had a running quad and because I got this rolling chassis for very cheap. Thank you for watching my video. Like and subscribe.